Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Victor Zhao. I represent uh, the uh, Council on uh, Precision Medicine. I'm from Duke University. So the new model is one called Precision Medicine. A lot of people used to call it personalized medicine, but we feel that that's, uh, uh, that's so broad that it could be subject to so many different interpretations that perhaps precision is what we want. So in precision medicine, what we'll be able to, to do is to know the exact mechanism, the underlying abnormality, and therefore the diagnostic uh, and therapeutic modalities that can result in improved treatment altogether. In precision, in precision medicine, we should be able to give one time the right drug for the right disease at the right time. And it could be a one-time treatment or it could be chronic treatment, but it, does, it will not involve multiple drugs, multiple trials and errors. So the critical issue here is that we believe that technology, particularly these days using genomics and many others, are increasingly enabling the possibility that we can have that precision. If we have that precision, uh, I believe that with powerful informatics, it will transform altogether the model of healthcare delivery, but perhaps more importantly for prevention and wellness. And in so doing, precision medicine will add value to healthcare and transform healthcare altogether because it will greatly reduce the cost of healthcare versus our today's what we call empirical medicine, the trial and error that a patient with high blood pressure could be on three different drugs uh, in order to get blood pressure control. And that most of the blockbuster we know today really only have effectiveness in 40% of the population. So in precision medicine, healthcare systems will have to change. That is delivery systems. You have to think about a whole different way of, uh, of treating patients, developing a workforce that's uh, educated and uh, perhaps using a different set of tools altogether. And it will have to uh, also inform the public in terms of being knowledgeable and being able to make the right choices together with the physicians and providers. For this to happen, we have to align incentives and also payment systems for the health sector, such as uh, the pharmaceutical industry, the providers, insurance industry, our informatics, all of them to work together at targeting at high uh, pro priority stratified population. Also, we need a policy and regulatory environment that is adaptive, that changes with new knowledge, and being able to encourage the, the uh, scientific work and also the adoption of these precision diagnosis and treatment and support social values uh, that is equitable, privacy, and all those issues as we begin to go into this area. So this is a new model. I think this model, if it actualized, will transform altogether the way we treat patients, but more importantly, the way we do prevention and improve health. And that's really transformational.